today the topic of discussion is aggregate function in sql so what we are going to understand is that what are aggregate functions and how we use those aggregate functions let's start aggregate functions in sql aggregate function in sql in database management system an aggregate function is a function where values of multiple rows are grouped together as input on certain criteria to form a single value of more significant meaning the meaning is that in dbms what you do uh, you use aggregate function on multiple rows suppose you want to uh, find the sum of a salary or uh, sum of the salaries so there are 15 employees in an, in your organization and you want the sum so what you apply you apply a, an aggregate function known as sum on salary column where multiple rows are included and finally you get what a single value uh, that sum of all the 15 uh, um, salary of 15 employees so this is what a uh, definition is all about okay there are different very vari various aggregate functions minimum maximum count sum and average these are few aggregate functions and we'll discuss each and every one by one let's start okay first we'll discuss minimum and maximum function minimum function written the smallest value of the selected column the maximum function written the largest value of the selected column okay so minimum is for finding the minimum of selected column and maximum is for finding the maximum of selected columns okay let's see the syntax syntax is select minimum then column name column name could be anything it could be salary or it could be name even but means in you can apply minimum on numeric value as well as on alphabetic values this means that if you are applying minimum on salary then you will get the minimum salary of that column if you apply minimum on name then you will get the alphabetic minimum alphabetically minimum name uh, that the name which which will start from a uh, you will get something like that okay from the table then table name from the table name where condition okay let's see the syntax here the table imp in this front of you this is the table imp this is the table m and what we are doing is that select minimum what you are doing select minimum what salary you are selecting minimum salary where this salary as min salary why this as min salary because if you will not put as min salary then it will take by default column name as min salary and if you want that you the column name should be as what you want then you can write as okay from table is m fine so what you get the answer is min salary then is 2000 20000 so you can see the salary minimum salary is 20000 in this table the minimum salary is 20000 fine let move to maximum salary the syntax is again same only in place of minimum you are putting maximum everything is same now the uh, now, now the syntax is select maximum salary as max salary from m then you will get the answer max salary because we have selected column name as max salary so what you get is max salary and the maximum salary in the given table in the given table in the given table is 30,000 fine so this uh, is regarding minimum and maximum function okay you can apply minimum and maximum function on name also on name also that is fine that is perfectly fine okay let's move further and let's study the function count the count function return the number of rows that matches a specified criteria so count function is for number of rows counting this means for counting okay let's see the syntax is again same in place of min and max you are putting a count select count column name from table name and where condition let's see the syntax now the table is in front of you again the table name is imp okay fine okay select count salary count salary here you can clearly see that ricky is uh, having employee id 4 is not having any salary then this is null this value is what null and this this is not having any salary okay so what answer you are going to get you are applying count salary as count as count is what only a column name okay from imp table so what you get guess 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 i'm looking for a guess okay before i should tell you guess the answer is four so what do you understand from this is that when you apply count function then count function counts only not null values since this is not null it will count it not null it will count to 
this is not all it will count this is null it will not count okay and this is null it will count so total value it is counting is four values okay now let me give you one more example select count distinct salary now you are looking for distinct different distinct means different salary so distinct means uh, since there are two salaries 20,000 here and 20,000 here since this are, is a common salary So we'll select only one salary suppose I'm selecting this there are two, this salary 30,000 and the, Tom is also getting the same salary Smith and Tom are getting same salary So I'll only select this salary and after that there is a null I will not select so the thing is this count distant salary will give you the answer two only okay because there are only two distinct salary let's move further this is very important and I, I want you to guess now select count star as count from him and let me tell you my dear as I've told you before that count do not count null values but count star count null value also. So if you run this statement you get 5. So what do you understood by this if you put count star then apart from not null value it will also call it call it will also count null values fine so always remember it might somebody might can ask you in an interview that uh, uh, is count star count the not null value and null values yes count star count null values also and not null values also let's move further okay so now we have two remaining function which is SQL average and sum function. So average function is what? Average function returns the average value of numeric column. So it is quite understood that you can only find the average of a numeric value. You cannot find the average of names. No, if I ask you to find the average of 15 names, that is practically stupid, stupid question. You cannot find the average of name. But if I ask you to count, find the average of 15 marks, you can, you can simply find. So average function is totally applicable on numeric value in a similar fashion sum is also applicable on numeric values you cannot apply sum on names on on characters no fine that is different concatenation is different but sum is only applicable on numeric values let's see the syntax so if I talk about syntax the syntax is the same only in place of minimum maximum and count you are putting AVG average ABG okay then see the now again uh, you have a table table name is table name is M table is M okay so what am I doing is that I'm I'm what am I doing is that I'm selecting average salary as average as average from M so what I'll get average of these five salaries so for what what is, how, what is the method of calculating average I'll sum this salary and I'll divide it by five so finally you get is 20 to 400 I may be might I might be um, uh, wrong uh, in calculation but you calculate the I, I told you the concept okay then then comes the sum syntax again I told you syntax is 100% same you just change the aggregate function now in place of average you are putting sum okay so see um, select some salary as total uh, so so uh, new column name will be total from what M so it will give you the sum salary so you will get total salaries 1 lakh 12,000 um, uh, so the sum of these uh, salary is 1 lakh 12,000 that is five employee of my organization are getting one lakh 12,000 salary okay so these are five functions so let me run this particular function in an oracle functions okay so let me discard it and let me find you an oracle tenji uh, i must be having okay yes yes oracle tenji okay okay so wow 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 what a beauty now in in front of you there is a table called imp having three columns employee id employee name and salary and there are few employees and let let me arrange it, this in an order o r d e order by e i d so so now uh, you have uh, seven employees where rajesh is not getting any salary rajesh is an employee who is not getting any salary okay the value of rajesh is null so let me start with minimum and maximum function so what i'll do select s e l e c to select s e l select m i n min salary s a l a r y salary from 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 table from m 
EMP. So see, the minimum salary is the so minimum salary. If I talk about minimum salary, then minimum salary is uh, 30, 31, 42. I, I think I think 30,000 is the minimum salary. So I should get 30,000. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, fine. Uh, the minimum salary is 30,000. Fine, correctly. Yeah. So what about maximum? I'll just put max over here. M A X M A X max. And see that 45,000 is the maximum salary. Okay. And as I told you, you can apply this fun this max function on on name also on name also. N A M E. So N A M E. E name. Sorry, there is a column E name. So, so you get Rajesh. Rajesh. Uh, why max E name Rajesh? Because R R alphabetically R is the maximum value. Okay, fine. And similarly, if you put min E name, then you will get the minimum value. Okay. Let's let's uh, see the count then. Okay. Let me show you the count. So before I show you the count, let me show you the table again. And now let me show you the count. Okay. Let me show you the count. Okay. Let me show you the count. Okay. Uh, select S E L E C T S E L E C T select count C O U N T count salary S A L A R Y salary as S C O U N T. So you will see that now that name will be C O U N T. Okay. Select count salary as count from imp. Okay. You can see you are getting six salaries. Why six? Because it's not collect. Uh, it's not including not null values. It's not including null values. Okay. It's including only not null. It's including only not null values. It's not including null values. Okay. Fine. Okay, what I do if I write distinct salary, distinct, is there anybody who is getting the same salary? Yes, Shane. If I talk about Shane and if I talk about Garima, they both are getting the same salary. So if I put distinct salary over here, distinct, D-I-S-T-I-N-C-T. So what I'll get, I'll get five only. Previously, I was getting six, but now I'm getting five because there were two salary which were same. Now, what if I put count star? Count star. So, the moment I put count star, see, it's, it's giving you the value seven. So, what I told you is that a count star will count the null value also. Fine. So, this was about count. Two functions remain. One was sum and one was average let's see that function also okay then comes sum s u m s u m then sum of salary s a l a r y and let me give you the name of this column as total whatever you whatever you want you can write that not total even what you want you can write so the total salary i'm distributing among the six employees is 222000 and what if i put average a b g a B G and I'll put 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 average A V E R A G E as as in as when you put total you got total here you put total you got total if you put average you will get average okay see now average is thirty seven thousand so the average salary you are giving to your employee is thirty seven thousand so this was actually all about this aggregate function and i've tried my level best to explain you